Operation 13. The Seven Shades wants to see friendliness being displayed. Let me guess. Either gonna be Epsilon or Beta rivalry or Data or, or, or Zelta and... Uh, <laughs> Did I just say Data and Zelta? <laughs> Holy shit, my dyslexia. Zeta and Delta. <laughs> Yeah. Is this like monopolizing tea now? They're figuring it out. Hello. Poop coffee beans. The poop dookie coffee beans. Yeah. Relax. Yeah, yeah, we're green. Oh, what happened? The poop coffee beans? Wasn't that episode? Okay, well, is she always a moron? Maybe. But she's not trying to be a moron. She, she's just a little special, okay? It's, you gotta be nicer to her. Yeah. Does Zeta hate Delta? I don't think she does. I think they're just like instinctively, there's some like cat dog rivalry, but I don't think it's like Zeta hates Delta. Yeah. You saw that one time when Delta was like hugging Zeta. I don't think Delta hates Zeta at all. I think Zeta just starts some shit sometimes with Delta, and Delta's like, Why are you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> they do have that rivalry. Did you see that coffee slash? Look, look, look. <laughs> Are they? In certain respects, I don't share the same curves. That bitch fake. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the curves. I wonder where the cameraman is zooming into right now. Bulges? Did, did, did you just say bulges? Curves or rather the matter in question is about our bulges. Now, I guess you can refer to titties as bulges, but God, that's the first time I've heard a bulge being referenced to a fucking girl. What if Shadow like patted his bulge with Shadow, like slime control magic? You know how like Epsilon will like pat her titties? Like we have like Shadow will just like pat his bulge. I'm sure there's like, <laughs> I'm sure there's already art like that made. Rivals all of them. Yeah, Gamma doesn't really have anyone that she bickers with, does she? Like, Gamma is usually shim with Alpha, but they're like in sync with each other. They're more like the leadership positions and they don't really fight amongst each other. Like, Ada? Really? I guess it's because we don't see enough Ada. Ada, yeah? I don't know. Oh, we haven't even seen enough Ada and Gamma interactions. Yeah, it's fun to banter. The floor. Stairs. Stairs and the floor. You're right. Gamma's biggest ops is the fucking floors or the stairway. You're right. You're right. Yes. Gamma, you can't fight. No, actually, she can. <laughs> you see the punch here? I think that this look at look at the direction, the animation, the punch. I think she's missing something. But it is pretty cute whenever Gamma does stuff like this. Because sometimes Alpha and Gamma they're too serious at times because they gotta maintain the leadership positions. But I like to see more. This this these kind of like sides to Gamma, right? I think it makes them a little bit more relatable. Episode fourteen. The Seven Shades wants to receive words of praise. Oh? Are you referring to yourself as Eps? You're, you're straight up singing in third person right now. You're straight up singing in third <laughs> Hello. Okay. Yeah, why are you in a good mood? Maybe, maybe she's in a good mood because Shadow gave her the gaze. And holy shit! Thanatos with the gifted sub. Thank you, Thanatos. You're just- uh, Sorry, this guy's wizard with the gifted sub. You're just spoiling me today. Wow. 
<laughs> Delta straight up was like, I don't give a fuck. Epsom's like, you want to hear me? You you want to you wanna hear me? Delta's like, no, I don't care. Bye. Okay. Oh, McDonald's Mitsugoshi content. Mm. Say it, what is it? Yeah, what happens? She probably just... She, okay, let me guess. Sid showed up and Sid was like, Hey, Epsilon. Bye. Oh my god, he talked to me! Did he actually? Did he really? Huh? Useless? I guess the extra titties and fat. <laughs> you know, the ass. It's too much fat content. Technically, they could be more muscular like Delta. Delta's hungry. Bye bye. She got. Holy shit, she fucking instant transmission. Look. Look at this. Bye. Teleports. Poor Epsilon. Hmm? <laughs> she took offense to that. She's fucking pissed off. <laughs> Wait, Nui fucking snitched. How could you? It wasn't a snitch. Epsilon straight up just flexed. He, he sent Nui to Beta say, Tell that bitch that Shadow said I have a nice figure today. <laughs> Everyone's tra instant transmissioning. <laughs> It looks like Epsilon wins today's battle in the rivalry against Beta and Epsilon. 15. Seven Shades wants to enjoy pleasant music. Maybe Shadow's gonna play some piano. Oh, Miss Shiron! Shadow Sama. Now, who knows many excellent pieces of music like this? Technically, this is no longer a lie because they've been spamming fucking Moonlight Sonata every time in the piano section. But technically, in the most recent episode, you know, Shadow was playing many different themes and he was even playing the fucking boss theme for Mordred. <laughs> but Zeta is the most talented. What if she can just play the piano immediately? Delta doesn't care. Delta doesn't care. Damn, that's kind of an insult. That's another classical piece. だしかにあれは私たち七影と主様との衝撃的な出会いを感じさせるわね。表現が素敵だね。ケー、しょめたじゃじゃじゃん。ゼータと恋の終わりつも好きなのです。会話に割り込まないで。ね、曲を聞く
Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I haven't seen all the JoJo's, but I have seen the JoJo memes, and I have seen a guy that licks a guy's face, and he's like, this taste, this taste is of that a liar. <laughs> Cat what? They made a song about stepping on a cat? That's fucked up. Uh, <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Poor Zeta. <laughs> Poor Zeta. But we need, we need to get more Zeta and Delta, man.